this Marks Reviews and Tutorials video. Today I'm just going to be looking at um, one of the reasons why pumps can just stop and just buzz. Uh, both these pumps, they're off different spars, but a couple of um, pumps I picked up yesterday, uh, they're both just brrr, buzzing and not actually starting. And uh, I want to show you uh, what can happen with a capacitor. A capacitor is like a little battery and it actually gives the, the impotence to start the motor, to give it that initial turn and get it running. Have a look at this one here. You'll see um, that the capacitor has actually expanded off the end. It's supposed to be a sealed container. And when the insides of them expand, um, they stop working. And this has um, started to throw uh, an earth leak. It's just tripping the um, overload switch straight away. And as soon as you open up, you go, oh my gosh, yes, the capacitor is at least part of the problem. Now, the reason I wanna make a video about this is this guy has said, yes, it's been doing that and just buzzing for about four months. That's really bad, because when it's just buzzing, it's putting all that current into the windings and the rest of the motor, and now it's earth leaking. Probably what's happened, because he didn't fix the capacitor, it's probably burnt out the motor. And if that's the case, then the whole thing needs to be replaced. Instead of a simple capacitor replace, because he left it and just kept it buzzing, it's now the whole lot. So that's the first one I pulled out yesterday, but just a mild fail on the capacitor like that. This guy here, this is quite entertaining. Have a look at that capacitor. That is supposed to be, oh, actually I'll turn the light on. Have a look at that. That is supposed to be like this, a nice white solid container. This one is just burnt because of what that's happened there. But as you can see, that one there is um, fairly toasted, roasted, buttered, jammed, and creamed. So there's your problem. This one though has only just started to buzz. So as soon as we replace that capacitor, it'll probably be fine. Hopefully that one will be fine as well, but we'll find out once we switch the capacitors out. Yeah, sure enough, we've had both those motors on the test bench now, and the really old one with the massive fail on the capacitor, new capacitor, fine, it's back in the spa, working absolutely fantastic. The much, much newer motor, that one's only about 18 months old instead of over 10 years old, with the little fail on the capacitor, that pump's being replaced. Uh, because they left it, because the buzzing um, so the moral of this story is, if your motor's buzzing, don't just leave it, get it fixed. The same, if you've got a little water leak coming out of your motor from the mechanical seal, get that fixed as well, because otherwise it'll corrode all the front of the end shield, and again, you can cause your motor to be replaced. So motors do need maintenance, uh, and yeah, maybe you have to call your spa guy and get him to come around and just have a look. Um, let him listen to the motors starting up and running, check the bearings, check the starting that the capacitor still, when a capacitor starts to fail, rather than going straight away, it'll sort of buzz for a bit, maybe brrrr, and then start. That's a sure sign that the capacitor needs to be replaced. So maintenance is important. If it's leaking from the mechanical seal, get it replaced because it will damage the motor. Same thing with the capacitor. If it buzzes, get it fixed straight away.